Bolivia's central government has become almost powerless, leaving hundreds of militias in charge of a country that has been flooded with millions of firearms, with no oversight on their trafficking. The weapons free for all is not only amplifying Libya's instability, but also fueling conflicts throughout the region with guns being smuggled over unguarded borders to militants waging wars in regions spanning from Syria to West Africa. The disorder has flustered Europe and the United States. Western and Arab diplomats, including U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, have pressed Libyan officials to come to some political agreement so that the international community can aid in the collection of arms and renovate the military and police. However, a major issue is that Europe and the U.S. simply don't know who they can turn to in Libya, not knowing who really is in charge. The downfall of Muammar Gaddafi left Libya without strong political institutions. Rebel brigades, which initially assembled to challenge his rule, have evolved into hefty militias that frequently fight each other in their pursuit of control. The government has resorted to hiring militias to secure airports, seaports, hospitals and government buildings. Last year, a militia hired to guard oil facilities in the east proceeded to take over the facilities. They went on to demand greater autonomy for the country's east. Militias have stormed parliaments to impose laws and have even briefly kidnapped the prime minister. Smuggling weapons abroad is big business. A 97-page report released in March by the United Nations Panel of Experts says arms that originating from Bolivia were discovered in 14 countries, stating that the source is often from the Libyan militias, who in the aftermath of the civil war looted the arsenals of the Gaddafi-era military and police. Sophisticated weaponry has reached Chad, Mali, Somalia, the Central African Republic, Nigeria's Boko Haram militant group, and Egypt's Sinai Peninsula. Libyan arms in Egypt are often smuggled into the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip. Militants there purchase modern assault rifles and anti-tank weapons. 